than usual. Would it actually be better for a straight ahead guy like Seda? We'll soon find out. Seda, an exciting guy. He's been down several times, but gets up to fight. 3 0 oh, 1 versus Southpaws, including the technical draw with, with Derek Gaynor. Cosmayor in the white with the blue trim. Seda in the blue with the white trim. Seda, a quick handed puncher, good right hand. Pivotal weapon, of course, as we've mentioned against lefties. But Seda was very vulnerable in that short time to Gaynor's no, no, straight no, no. left. First. He went down a minute on, in on a straight left from Gaynor. That same punch, very effective for Casabio versus Corrales, particularly the first fight they had. In these early rounds, telling because Casimir has suggested he will come forward more than he normally does, and we see it already. Now, this can be good because he could get in there and land something big and certainly not give rounds away as he did against um, Corrales in the second fight. But it can be bad because he can take himself out of what is his normal game plan and to put himself in a position where Seda could land something. Casamayor is starting out in deliberate fashion, boxing, but every once in a while throwing that straight uh, left hand. His power punch. I've heard you've mentioned it before. We think of Cosmiar as just a slick boxer, but he does have power. And he's shown in the recent fights. He hurt Freitas. He knocked down Corrales three times in their two fights. Fought a, a, a rough battle against a very good fighter in Nate Campbell and, and slugged with him. So uh, he can certainly be a power puncher. Does have the great hand speed. And he proved in particular against Corrales. He is one tough, gritty boxer on every level. Aside from the technical skills, very much about heart, terrific uh, chin, and tremendous will. Seda uh, had very a lot of problems, as you mentioned, against Derek Gaynor, even in only the round and a half after the, before the clash of heads made it a no decision. Uh, he really looked lost against the left, and truth to be told, so far he looks lost against the left, moving the wrong way, not sure what he's supposed to do. You know, there are, there are a couple of ways to attack a lefty. One is you really should move to your left. Number two, if you have the weapon, you should throw a double left hook or jab, jab, and throw a straight right. Off balance is Daniel Seda looking very uh, ill at ease, intimidated in there against the former world champion. He's got to keep the pressure on Seda and go to the body. We get out of the way. Possibly was countering less, but he's just staying out of the way, basically. You know, I said in the keys that for Casamayor, put pressure on the boots from long range. That's exactly what he did here in round one. It was so effective. A slow first round. As the bell sounds. Very good, very good. Stay like that. Keep that angle and keep that jam. Okay? All right. Tell him to keep that angle and keep that jam going like that. Okay. Keep touching down there. Watch. Just keep going. Keep it beautiful. Stay focused, though. Okay. The easier it gets, the more focused you stay. Okay? Okay? Don't rush it. We see Seda, and boy, this demonstrates as graphically as you can how messed up he is against the lefty. His left foot is supposed to be outside the right foot of Qasem Ayar. Instead, it was right next to it on the inside, and that created the trip that happened. The power was there, so just throw fast shots. And stay focused. Work that jab. Beautiful jab. Okay? The instructions of Buddy McGirt, a busy man looking to... Even the score here tonight after a, a rugged first fight, having Michael Mora losing. Round two, scheduled for 10. Acosta, of course, has been accused of being a dirty fighter as he lands with that jab. But he'll need to watch out for Seda if Seda ever steps in. Sometimes does lead with his head. There's a left hand that rocks Seda, bouncing off the ropes. Acosta jumps on top of him. So far, it has been target practice for Casamayor. Daniel Seda is walking to his right, inviting Casamayor to throw that straight left, and it's a punch that had landed very effectively against Corrales, and we've seen it in other instances. Seda's being hit with it. No, 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 no. Very clean. Which again raised the uh, issue in the first fight. Why would a fighter 
do that against a southpaw. You got to move to your left to the southpaws right away from his power, and he's getting clipped. Seda finally comes forward with a right hand, but it was blocked by the left glove of Casamayor. Daniel Seda, you wouldn't know it from this performance so far, has a very good jab, has a good straight right hand, and a good left hook. He's got all the right weapons, and is a, a skilled fighter, but he is in against a super fighter in oh, yeah. Joel Casamayor, and he's stepping up with weights. And he's facing a lefty. When you factor all that in, it will make him look much less effective and so far it has. Well, he's obviously being, obviously being super cautious. In the past, you would seldom see Seda take a backward step and uh, hardly ever put in a full night's work, but that's not against a guy like Joel Casamayor. Only four of his 20 fights have gone to the judges. He uh, does like to mix it up, but he's being very, very careful here. And he's getting tapped. Left side rights are landing now by Casamayor, backing Seda up some more. Look at this, combination to the head. And now Seda might as well be in another county. And all the, the knockout ratio and the winning percentage and all the rest for Seda, which is, uh, and of course he's the younger fighter, you take all that into account. It gets thrown out the window when you face a boxer of the skill level of Joel Casamayor. And strategically, this has been, you know, a complete disaster for Seda. He said that he had worked on how not to get it with the left hand. He felt comfortable sparring with lefties. Uh, thought that he had put to rest that issue of the gainer left-handed uh, stance, giving him a problem. None of that has happened so far. Final seconds, round two, as Daniel Seda continues to look overmatched by Joel Casamayor. He already hit you hard. He's trying to knock you out. Now you're going to hit him. Now you are going to hit him. Let's hit him to see if he can take it. Let's hit him. Casamayor getting the straight left in, and he throws that punch not always perfectly straight, but it helps him land it. And uh, he went right after Daniel Seda, and would, later on in the round, he would again get to Seda. That this time it's the right hook that does most of the damage after a straight left hand had kind of glanced off his head. So, Casamara showing us a little uh, broader arsenal toward the end of that round. As we enter into round three, Eric Jones translating our, our Spanish between rounds. There have been many great Cuban fighters over the years. World champions Jose uh, Napolese, Benny the Kid Perret, Sugar Ramos. Joel Casmayor, during the recent run of Cuban defectors, stands at the front of the pack. Casmayor, very focused, almost fixated on the idea of getting a rematch with Corrales, who he believes should have given him the rematch after a close decision. Oh. Right? And uh, he knows he has to get through Daniel Sated to get the job done, and right now he's doing it. And a wicked body shot during that sequence by Casmayor. Right to the solar plexus of Daniel Seda. At least he's moving to his left. Chopping right hand over the head there by Casamayor. Now Seda comes forward and throws a couple of right hands and then he's just finally thrown to the ropes by a stronger Casamayor. Well, you see the difference in size here, too. Seda has not thrown one single left hook in this match yet. Has not put himself in a position where he can throw it. And uh, it's a punch that he has and can be very effective against the left hander, but he's not throwing the ball tonight. No, 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 no. You're not. None of this down in here. Okay? Well, Cosmeo, okay? who has been accused of roughhouse tactics in the past, mostly out of frustration. Pulling uh, Seda down, and he landed a left hand there, did Casmayor. 
That's a world record. We're in the third round, and that's the first caution against Casemiro. He's never gone that long without a caution for a warning for a referee. Very accurate. It's a world record. Seda was, of course, the number one featherweight contender. Um, and after that gainer loss, or that gainer uh, no decision, was out of boxing for a number of months while he adjudicated a, uh, got out of a contract with a promoter, and then ultimately signed with Sugar Ray Leonard Boxing. So he, he just sat out to get rid of that, and then has had two fights since then as a junior lightweight. So he hasn't been that active, as we pointed out in the last several years. Cosmero continues to have his way, doing it uh, at both ends, offensively and defensively, eluding uh, punches while he's scoring regularly. Little uh, blood, uh, a trickle of blood on the forehead of Cosmayor as the heads clashed earlier. And we head for the bell. Oh, 